Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special story to share with you all. And I think these videos of mine will probably be uploaded to Curtis's community channel called Troller Office. That's right, we're going to talk about how we first met and it's a bit of a fun and unusual story. Yeah, so Curtis and I actually met through a game of Tekken 8. I was playing online and Curtis kept letting me win. Hey, I had to make a good impression somehow, right? I remember thinking, who is this guy letting me win all the time? Is he trying to flirt with me? And little did she know, that's exactly what I was doing. So, we started chatting after the games, and one thing led to another, and here we are now. It's so funny how a simple game of Tekken brought us together. Yeah, and I have to say, Curtis's charm really won me over in the end. Well, what can I say? I knew the way to your heart was through Tekken. So, that's our story of how we met through Tekken 8. If you have any fun or unique ways you've met someone, let us know in the comments below. We're diving into the X-Files today. Especially, we're talking about Sarah's ex-boyfriend, Kyle Travers. Oh boy, where do I even begin with Kyle? He was definitely a character, that's for sure. Yeah, I have heard some stories about him. What was your first impression of Kyle when you two first started dating? Well, Kyle was charming and charismatic, you know? He had this way of making you feel like you were the only person in the room. But looking back, I can see now that there were some red flags I completely ignored. Like what exactly? It's like his tendency to always put himself first, no matter what. It was always Kyle's way or the highway, you know what I mean? Yeah, that can be really tough to deal with in a relationship. How did you end up breaking things off with him? It was a messy breakup, let me tell you. But ultimately, I realized that I deserved better than what Kyle was able to give me. It was a tough decision, but also a necessary one for my own well-being. I am actually really glad you made that choice, Sarah. You deserve to be with someone who truly values you and respects you. Thanks, Curtis, and I'm grateful to have you in my life now. You're everything I could have ever asked for in a partner. Anyways, we're going to have a real talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. That's right. We're going to dive into Sarah's past relationship and what led to her breakup with the, her ex-boyfriend Kyle. Yeah, it's not an easy topic to talk about, but I think it's important to share my experience. So Curtis, do you remember when I first told you about Kyle's abusive drinking? I do. It was uh, really hard for me to hear about the things you went through with him. Yeah, it was a tough time for me. I tried to help him for so long, but his drinking just kept getting worse. How did his drinking affect your relationship with him? It really changed him. He became unpredictable, aggressive, and sometimes even violent. I was constantly walking on eggshells around him, never knowing what would say. I can't imagine of how difficult that it must have been for you. My power is, I felt trapped and afraid most of the time. I knew I had to leave for my own safety and well-being. How did you finally find the strength to break things off with him? It took me a while to realize that I deserved better and that I couldn't fix him. With the support of friends and family, I was able to gather the courage to end things once and for all. To be honest, I'm proud of you, Sarah. It takes a lot of courage to walk away from a toxic relationship like that. Thank you, Curtis. It wasn't easy, but I know it was the right decision for me. I hope that sharing my story can help others who might be going through something similar. Absolutely. Your strength and resilience are truly inspiring and to anyone watching, who might be uh, in a similar situation, please know that you deserve to be uh, treated with love and respect. Thank you all for listening to our story. Remember, you are never alone and there is always help available if you need it. That's right. We're here for you. Stay strong and take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.